Hello everyone, this is the Insert Title Show and I'm your host, Wolf Streif. On this episode, I'm going to be talking about my National Geographic 4D Ancient Greece puzzle. I picked this up on Amazon for like $20. Uh, I just felt like doing something different, you know, like I haven't done a puzzle since I was like five, so I felt like doing something kind of different and out of the ordinary. And besides, puzzles are supposed to be good for your brain somehow. Not really sure how, but I know they're kind of popular with the old farts nowadays. That and coloring books. I will not be doing that, but a puzzle sounded like something uh, I might be interested in doing right now. And seeing how it's an ancient Greece one, and I'm still working on the Trojan War series, I figured I might as well do something in that vein. And I'm glad I did. I mean, the puzzle turned out to be pretty fun, even though it was a bitch from the motherfucking pit of hell. I mean, it took me 17 hours to finish, I think. Yeah, yipe. But, um, it was pretty fun. And, uh, seeing how National Geographic has a couple of other puzzles, I, uh, I'll probably get those too when I talk about them. Like, they have a, um, puzzle of ancient Rome that looks pretty cool. And I guess if I ever do a series on Rome, maybe that would be a good time to get that puzzle and uh, do it. They also have a China one that looks kind of cool. It's got like the Great Wall and stuff. And uh, they also have an Ancient Egypt one, which would be a lot of fun. Because it's got all the pyramids and the Sphinx and stuff. But I'm not kidding myself. I know these puzzles will take forever. I mean, this one was not easy. But it's a pretty cool puzzle, I guess. Um, It basically shows only the parts of Greece that have famous monuments or temples and stuff like that. Like, it doesn't show Sparta or Thebes or, I don't know, I guess like Thrace and Salamis and all that. It really only shows Athens and Olympia and Delphi and a city I've never actually heard of before, Epidaurus. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck is Epidaurus? But, uh, hey, I guess this is a good way for me to learn something new about ancient Greece. And another cool thing about the puzzle, which I guess makes it like a 3D, 4D thing or whatever, is it comes with these little, I don't know what to call them, plastic blocks or whatever that you can actually put into the puzzle. And so it's like, uh, I guess one of the blocks is like the Palace of Knossos and another one's like the Trojan Horse the Acropolis of Athens, so it's really cool, and it looks really cool too. But unfortunately, I have no place to put this puzzle. As you can see in these pictures, I am definitely packed in here. So unfortunately, I'm probably just going to have to break it down into four pieces and put it in the box that it came with, and just, you know, keep it in safe storage. That kind of sucks, especially after all the work I put into putting it together. But, I mean, it's just, that's how it is. And I'm sure most people, when they are done with their puzzles, they just either, you know, put them on the wall. I guess, like, glue them together and put them on the wall. Or they just put them back in the box. Maybe one day I can set this up somewhere. I guess it would have to be on, like, a tabletop or something so that you can actually really get a look at the... 3D blocks and stuff. But it's a very pretty puzzle. I mean, a lot of uh, blues and greens. And, uh, yeah, it's a very nice looking puzzle. And I got my nephew to help out the first three hours or so. So that was kind of nice. Just giving uh, something for he and I to do together. I'm going to post links to all the monuments and temples and stuff that are in the puzzle. I'll put those links in the descriptions for you to check out if you're curious, I guess. Uh, The places that the puzzle uh, shows off is like the Palace of Gnosis, the Citadel of Mycenae, which is pretty cool, the Treasury of Atreus, the Trojan Horse, the Terrace of Lions, the Acropolis of Athens, gotta have that in here, of course. The Temples of Pistum, the Valley of the Temples. I mean, that's a really cool looking place. And, you know, a couple of other places like the Sanctuary of Apollo. I guess that's in Delphi. It's probably where the Oracle was and stuff. So, yeah, it's really cool and it's a great way to learn about all this kind of stuff because, uh, I mean, I'm a pretty 
big ancient Greek history buff, but I mean, I didn't know most of these temples and monuments and even some of these cities, like I said, like Epidaurus. I never heard of that place, so this is definitely a informative puzzle, I guess you could say. It's pretty cool, and the other puzzles look badass too, so... You know, if you're just looking for something interesting and different to do, uh, why not try a puzzle? Yes, that was my nerd puzzle guy voice. <laughs> kind of weird, but uh, yeah, take it easy, people.